Welcome on board your midweek tonic on this channel, The Nation, today. Nigeria is a unique federation in all ramifications. So also is our democracy, which seems not to conform with what we have in other climes. Call it homegrown democracy. Apologies to the self-styled military president, General Ibrahim, about that massive Abangida, and will be in agreement with him. Describe it as mere civil rule, as described by Chief B.C. Akande, and you'll be in tandem with him. Whatever your views are about Nigeria's democracy, you can't rule out elections when it comes to choosing who represents us at the legislative and executive arms of government, at local, state, and federal levels. Nigeria's elections are made up of various seasons. Seasons of primaries, campaigns, defections, and finally, endorsement in the pre-election stage. The season we are now is that of endorsement. Those involved in endorsement drama include but not limited to social cultural organizations or groups where you have ONIC, Afeniferi, Northern Elders Forums, Pan Niger Delta Forum, PANDEF, and Middlebet Forum, to mention but just a few. Of course, religious bodies are also involved. We have you even have witches and wizards, professional bodies. We are in. You have Association of Nigerian Prostitutes, Nigerian Armed Forces officers from the ranks of generals, and of course, traditional rulers. Honestly, the list is endless. So that is what we are looking at today. The role endorsements have to play in this year's presidential election in Nigeria. We have members of the two leading political parties as our guest on the program today. Barrister Yomi Obaditan is a lawyer by calling, but also uh, a politician by vocation. We say welcome to him. No, sir. He represents APC on the program today. Of course, we have uh, Mr. Afonso Babarinde, Vice Chairman of Shun State Chapter of Association of Nigerian Authors. He's not on the program to write today, but to speak. Mm -hmm. Mr. Babarinde, you welcome on the Good program. morning, good morning, Nigeria. He's representing uh, PDP on the program today. Let's take up this way from uh, Barrister Obadita. About two, three weeks ago, we have series you have a kind of a change in the political climate in Nigeria where in you see this rush of endorsement from left, right, and center. And uh, when you assess it critically, uh, how will you describe Nigerians of varying interest when it comes to this particular election? We are uh, counting days now, less than Ten days to go into the election proper. How will you describe them? In terms of endorsement, yeah, endorsement. endorsement. What is speaks? What they are action as far as endorsement speak of them? Yeah, let's start by looking at what is endorsement. Uh, is a political language, which is not limited to Nigeria. That means associating, giving consent, assisting, or raising funds in one form or the other to ensure that a political party or candidate is assisted to get victory at last. Uh, between 1980 to 2016, uh, these have been the norms in the United States of America where parties, candidates were endorsed. And once either a body or a group or a statement or a celebrant or a, celebrate, a celebrity, okay. uh, you know, Show that, say, look, this candidate I'm behind. It speaks like, it, you know, that's the body language, that's, uh, uh, you know, an indication or an attention 
is driving in the in, in psychology we call it attention getting mechanism so it's a it's a sort of mechanical way of getting people to look at that direction so now let's come back to our domestic scene the recent uh, uh, mass endorsement here and there like you have uh, analyzed from ethnics to the retired generals to the prostitutes and to other of, uh, innumerable endorsers uh, it, it gives us a lot of reason to ask why, how. Well, the first question we're going to ask, why are people endorsing? What's their motive? What do they stand to gain? No, in, uh, just as I've enumerated, sometimes when you see people coming out and said, we're endorsing this candidate, it's either they want political appointment at the end of the day. Okay. Okay. Secondly, is either they want to be recognized in terms of social attachment or they needed to raise funds or mobilize a particular. In another way, it could be a, a sort of payback time okay. to show that particular candidate or individual that the other time we we'll urge you to do this one, you, you, you deviated. This time around, we're not following you. We're okay. endorsing your other opponents. OK, Mr. Barrande. Uh, well, um, what has happened presently in the political scene in Nigeria is not, is not new. It has been there from time in memory. And um, honestly, it's not only in politics that they endorse. Even in sports, they are endorsement. In the um, entertainment industry, they are endorsement. It does vary from one start up to the other. Now, when it comes to political endorsement, oh, you discover that it comes once like that every four years or during electioneering period. And like you already said, um, endorsements could be a confirmation of what you have done. Or, for me, it might be a hope of what you are going to do, depending on which side one looks at it. But it is not out of place for associations, professional groups. They are part of the society. Democracy is a government of the people, for the people and by the people. They are part of the society. But they have been able to organize themselves into a group, club association, and etc. Like that. And they are able to come together and say, yes, after consistently looking at this social candidate, because of fact he's going to do social thing, or because he has done social thing, we are training our support and endorsing him for social so office. So it's not out of place for people to endorse a particular candidate of, or political party during the electioneering period. But like, 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 like the believe sometimes it's not even about personal gain. It will be about community gain. So my friend is all, a part of my friend said they are endorsing Atiku because of restructuring. Some part of them said they are endorsing Buari because they saw what he, he, he has been able to do and they believe he could do more. And they believe in 2023 they are going to gain more as a region. Okay, uh, uh, Barista Baditor, uh, uh, the other time we were talking about motive, uh, uh, the reasons why these uh, various groups that have been endorsing this candidate or that candidate. And when you look at it, the, the endorsement seems to be largely for the two leading political parties or the two leading candidates. Why would you say it so? Is it that other uh, political parties or other candidates don't have what can attract the attention of all these quote-unquote endorsers? Uh, could that be the reason? Yeah, maybe I should. Uh, give a very <laughs> popular parlance that says success has a thousand fathers. Okay. But failure is an orphan. Okay. The two leading political parties, uh, to some degree, show a sign of successful election. Okay. And some of them have records of performance. Okay. And uh, nobody wants to associate with the struggler. Or somebody they perceive may not be able to see. It's all like when you start a race, or you are watching a marathon, or a sprinters. And once they are on the on the track, quite often the people who make largest noise or only support more is the man, the first and the second and the third. It's very rare to see the man behind being the hey, oh yeah, run, run, run. they clap for the man in the front. 
So in the, in the issue of endorsement, uh, people want to make sure they put their support or show sense of uh, belonging to the one that they, from their perception is likely to carry the day. And not only that, the one they believe, if they associate themselves, at the end of the day, he believes in their philosophy. For example, the Afenifere believe in what we call the restructuring. Even though we have a faction of Afenifere. A faction of Afenifere. Uh, okay. okay. We have the renewal, okay. we have the old. Okay. Okay. So it depends on which fulcrum they are, each group wants to go now. If you go to Iran, is it too? Why some are saying that, the others say, no, we have not said so. It depends on what is actually the interest. Quite often, in a developed polity, the, 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 the micro interest is jettisoned for the, the macro. The macro. Okay. Because the, the national interest comes first. You realize why uh, the election in 2016 in the U.S. was a surprise to many, including me, because I never believed that uh, Donald Trump would eventually make it. But because the man said, America shall be first, America shall be second, America shall be the... And those who believe, the old people, the, 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 the people who have the wealth, said, look, that's now we are waiting for. And so, even some conservative Christians, or maybe we call the old, old order Christian, not the Pentecostal, the modern one, the faith of our father. Uh, the faith of our father. Now, fellow, this young man who believes in uh, uh, sex, marriage, and that kind of thing, I think we better go with this orthodox man. And that's why it's the man surprised America. Okay. So, as we are going, those who have endured the first two, I love myself. Why? If you look for us, oh, sorry, we are uh, so worried. <laughs> it's all these youths who can say, well, we like the way he's talking, but what's the likelihood? And uh, look at even the campaign. Look at the people who are turning up. No, these are the way by people assess. Though even the crowd at the campaign may not be uh, a factor to determine the sorts of body, it could be a sign of things to come. Okay, Mr. Babarandi, uh, some are uh, leading meanings into all this endorsement. Some are uh, speaking talking, insinuating, possible inducement from these big political parties who have very deep pockets. Uh, to what extent will you say that could also be a reason for this endorsement? Uh, well, um, ordinarily in Yoruba land, if, um, if I have to bring my, my friends to your house now, to come and ask for some favor from you. Traditionally, even if you are not asking me for money, I'm expected to come with Kula and some other things like that to say, uh, I can only have a good offer if I'm saying to you, but I'm with that look. But that, but that the, the culture so nothing of, goes for nothing. Yeah, mm, mm, the culture no, of, no, the culture, the culture of, we have, we have in this part of the world, the culture of giving is there naturally. Okay. You understand, apart from either being favored or not being favored, okay. you know, naturally, there's a, there's a, we have a cultural um, a way of doing things when it comes to doing things for one another in this part of the world. Be that that is me. Well, in as much as um, there is an electoral act that decides, that, that monitors the funding of electioneering and political campaigns during election period. I expect that every political party should abide with the kind of finances they are expected to do during electionary period. And as long as such uh, donation or gift or whatever, whatever you're going to call it fall within the purview or it does not fall, it does, does not become uh, illegal, I think it should be, it, we should not raise eyebrow against it. And Moreover, if, are, if our traditional rulers, the special, uh, the organizations that are endorsing all these people decides that this is, this is where we are looking at, I think the person they are endorsing still has the, 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 the onus on him to give them support to do more in the field. To because that, that, that endorsement is an endorsement and they, they will start to go back and mobilize for him to really actualize what they felt what, what their, their intention towards such a candidate, and that's why I, that, that that's why the issue of giving money or giving or giving gifts, when you call it gifts, that's why it comes in. And traditionally, when you look at even the the uh, what I would say the, the the modern democracy, the 
the ones in US, the ones in UK, Labour in UK, Conservatives, Democrats, and what have you? You have two major political parties all over England. It's all over England. Okay. 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 You understand? There are several okay. lesser Patrick. ones there, and debates, endorsements, perception. Okay, they, they, they take a lot of perception. Perception. Most of the things you do in politics has to do with perception, and some of the things that aids perception are debates and endorsements. Okay. It takes a major role in in how people perceive okay, this candidate. The way people are falling over one another and endorsing. My public the person that will make it. The way it, the way that he has discussed in this debate, it, sometimes the percentage might not might be minimal, but at the end of the day, it's still either an added value to add add up the candidates that have been projected. Okay. Uh, to uh, Barrister Abadita, I still want you to look at this issue of light like play in this mess and the, and the fight against corruption. And that's one. Just an addendum to what uh, Abadita had spoken about. And of course, uh, when you talk about endorsements, where is the place of opinion polls? We've had a number now, the list, giving this to that and that and that and that. Where is the place of opinion post and endorsement? Yeah, maybe I should start from the issue <laughs> of uh, the, 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 thing that, the thing that changed hands. Okay. Uh, to some degree, even uh, like he said, in our culture, the Yoba said, to bad so what you tell it to So it's, it's, it's culturally acceptable that when you go to the palace of kings, you don't just go there and just talk and go. Uh, but, uh, Father will say, we should bring this yam to you. The yam in those days could be physical. Today it's not, it's not like that. <laughs> and I remember in 2014, uh, Jonathan in particular was going to almost all traditional. And I remember when he came to Osho here, you know, there's this story of uh, dollar changing hands. It's not, it's not just, I'm not really just showing on, on Jonathan, I'm just saying it has been a uh, part of the story. And I was privileged, you know, I think in 2014, to win the number and uh, in the country of the former governor. And uh, that time, he was contesting. So we had meet even the dead of the night. Sometimes we use uh, the, the, the full light uh, to, to serve as a light there. As to something we have to give to the traditional ruler. Like that's how so uh, we should give you this. So it is it's culturally acceptable, and there is no law that has said so far. The area where we can run to trouble, and that's the area I want to, before I ask you the other question, that's, this is when people goes into the wrong side of the law. If on the on the day or there is something like this, let's look at the electoral act that talks about when such things becoming an offensive and when it could not be taken. Section 129 uh, of the electoral act, it talks about uh, it talks about what you know you all know to do on the days of election or when it's called offenses on election day. Canvas for votes, solicit for vote of any vote, pursue any vote to give a uh, uh, candidate, pursue voter either by inducement, uh, possession of any offensive weapon, and many other things. Yeah, at the point where I talk on section 130 in particular, I said, corruptly by himself or by any other person at any time after the day of election has been announced, directly under the gives or provide or pay money or to for any other person for the purpose of quietly influencing the person or any other person to vote or refrain from voting at such election. So in the days of going around for persuading, uh, endorsing, or that kind of thing, so there is no police that can just say, why do you enter the palace? What do you know we have discussed? You know, quite often, those things are held by the top it's leaders. Mm -hmm. So you cannot know what really went wrong. And the other will not come back. Only if we you or said the, like, the, the other was, or the ship were delegated to meet the other person. Now, the other question, I think you so corruption is not involved. To some degree, I don't see that one as corruption. You see, politics itself is the vote buying is not involved. Vote buying, I've read, I've read, I've read the vote okay. buying for you. Okay. The vote buying comes when on the days of election. Okay. But during the period of electionary, for example, you are raising a very good question. Okay. The PDP has accused the APC of this uh, something money, trader money, trader money. Okay. That is a sum of inducement, and uh, if we are going to be very careful. Before we uh, uh, arrive at conclusion, as a lawyer, you don't the, the, the court doesn't listen to you on speculation. You must be able to prove your facts that the purpose why this thing is being done, or the people who are beneficiary of this particular trader money are limited to a particular party. Since it is generally given, uh -huh, 
No, uh, it, those who are now saying they collect uh, maybe voters card or that country, that's a very good one. If they can prove that, if they can show it. So uh, the, if we are talking of inducement, inducement may not only be on the day of election, it could be before. It all depends. But on the issue of this endorsement, it is part of politics. Okay. Opinion polls. Opinion polls is it is not a very common one in, in Africa and in Nigeria in particular. Because we have had I remember in 2014, 2015, the opinion poll favored PDP. But at the end of the day, it didn't work out like that. In recent time, the first newspaper that carried what uh, this paper from the from the north, um, I think it's Daily Trust or something like that. Or uh, leadership. 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 And the, 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 the sorrow that the APC will have today. The next one, another foreign paper has carried that, is going to be PDP. So when we are looking at opinion poll, in, in, a, in a developed polity, they don't just sit down. They go about with survey. They gather data. By the time they analyze, because they will give forms. They look at youths, they look at uh, business group, they look at many things, ask them questions. Which party will you vote for? What are your reasons? By the time they gather this one, they now come to analyze. By the time they begin to do this analysis, you will see the difference will be between 45 to 50 percent. And people will be able to know that it's either this way or that way. So in here, we have not, they don't, those who did this one have not given out the, the basic uh, ingredient, the data they collected, how they are able to arrive at such a conclusion. So. In doing that opinion poll, in develop, it influences the voters. But here, how many people have access to newspaper? As we are talking now, some people have no light. They may not even be able to listen to us. The radio, so this is, a, is, a, is a, where it works better. It's where this dissemination of information, where people have access to all this one, and where they could use it to motivate, to influence the decision of the, the voters. It is then that we can take opinion poll. But when you talk of Nigeria, we just laugh. Because the first thing they will laugh, I say, how did they come to that conclusion? Okay. Uh, so some will tell you it's not a laughing matter. But some will laugh over it. Of course, those people in favor <laughs> will laugh. They say, yeah. In fact, I had some people discuss with this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, had what they, okay. they say it's going to be. Okay. But let's wait and see. Now, let's look at reactions to these endorsements and opinion polls. It's been a, a form of altercation between the two leading political parties and their candidates. If it favors party A, party B will kick and dismiss it. If it favors party B, party B will praise those behind it and party A will kick against it. Why is it so? Uh, well, uh, well, naturally, in this part of the world, the way we play our politics is um, if, if it is not me, then it could not be real, if I put it that way. Okay. You don't understand that. This opinion poll of the thing, I expect a very serious political party, even if they are going to throw it off in the public. I expect them to still go back to the yeah. and look at it holistically. Because sometimes people won't just look up on money, especially known organizations, they won't just look up money and, and come out with things that they have not researched into or that they have not collected data. One way or the other, data can be influenced, research can be influenced, I'm not doubting that. But the onus is still on the candidate and the political party or those who are in the strategic uh, committees there to still go back and pick that document and look at it holistically and say, look, let's look at it. Even if it's not favorable us, what can we do to change the time? Do we really have the time to look at these things and see how it's going to work for us? You understand? Well, like I said, well, I'm sure by now, for me too, as uh, 80, 70, 60, 70 percent of people have made up their mind on the candidate they are going to vote for, if I'm, if I'm right with my thinking. The remaining 10, 20 percent is the undecided, the undecided, undecided voters. voters are the ones that the work will happen within the next couple of days can swing. They can swing on either side, but I'm pretty sure as at this morning, uh, 60, 70 percent of people have made up their mind that they are going A or B. Or there are some people that they are not even going to participate at all. They have blanked their mind on that day, they are going to spend their house. Those, those ones are even the most dangerous. For me, that's a bad decision. You understand? Because you, you, you should be able to be part, your voice must be able to be part of the process that will bring either party A or party B. For whatever reasons, you have to take a decision. But those who have decided not to take a decision, that one is not too good for the growth of our 
democracy and for the growth of the nation. But like I said, polls, there are also in polls. Even if you want to do local government election, you can. Even if you want to become a councillor, if, if you can get an organization that can do polls, it helps you to know your area of strength, your, your area of strength and weakness. So that at the end of the day, if you are able to change the tides, good for you. And if at the end of the day it goes the way, a lot of polls has been has been made and it comes very accurate most times. You understand either it pays or the either either from the other side you are looking at it. Most times the, the error of judgment has always been the percentage has always been very okay. has, been, has been very minimal. That's why I said either either it shows party A or party B, even the party that is famous should still go back and say they can improve on it if there's room for improvement. The party B that felt this is trash it's not, it's not, it's not real and something like that. They still go back and look at it. So as soon as you look at what went wrong or what was, there, what, what, what did they do to arrive at this decision that didn't favor us? So for me, like I said, in the, in the, in the, in the Western world, polls are vital. They do it periodically so as to measure their acceptance. But here, when you do polls, you, we, we look at it from the political angle. We don't look at it from the real research and that analysis angle. Okay, uh, uh, right, sir. The other time, you on a particular television station, you see Kayamu and Galadima struggling in that. Uh, no, it's a, it's a trash. All the endorsements from uh, all these uh, cultural organizations. Okay, uh, yes, it's the real thing. A few days after, you have some coming from the retired. Uh, Generous. Uh, generous. Uh, 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 it's, it's welcome. And the other pa party is crying foul. Okay? When you look at this kind of uh, altercations and the way it is taken to the highest level politically, what does it say of us as a nation? It majority. It shows we are still a developing quality. Our democracy is still far from where we ought to be. Uh, you know, I remember in the seven, sorry, let, let, if I talk 70s, you not believe that, but let's talk about 80s. You see, in the 80s, I remember one of our brother here, our father, I'll call him now, Ebenezer Dawatokwe, a bit of When he goes into television or radio station and begin to analyze what UPM will do, people take Ebenezer, they know he's ditching out facts. But when you, I don't know what really happened. The, the level we get to that level, we have the standard. Uh, that standard has dropped. Is, have dropped. So most of people who come to represent political party today, they nearly beat the drum, or the, the air. They don't come with facts. They don't do research. Uh -huh. And even they, they do research, they allow, because in, in, when you are doing a, a statistical analysis, they are what we call uh, the bias. The bias, uh, there's something they call it, you know, when, once you you, uh, you are biased in your data is going to show. So we should not allow, most of them allow emotion to override the reason. So when we come, even with whatever the level of your political, le uh, political participation, when you are talking, remember the audience who are listening, some know more than you. So when you now believe that because it's belong to party B, it is trash. But when they come to you, it is acceptable. You know, there will people just laugh and say, when are we going to grow beyond this level? So what we should do is to be able to see how do we put people who understand what to do, what to say, how to go about it. It is not only for us, it is for those who are watching us outside the world. Yeah. Because the world is a global village. Yeah. As we are talking here, you'll be surprised that there's going beyond this state, which is actually true. And I, I know more than 11 or 15 states that when you look at the level which we are discussing now, so I like it again. The bill I was telling you is that when you go to a uh, campaign in those days, we go with Bible. It is where you are going to be an antithesis from Baba Ulof and some other language from, uh, from Belaige. So today, that uh, what they call political language is missing. No All you hear is those, they are thief, they are yeah, this. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. The, the, ask me in the last one way. How many of them have tell us basic issue? How do we, how are we going to solve it? This is the method we are going to show. This is what is going to happen. The students who have been in Ghana have been in school for the past two, three years. By the time I get there, the education in Nigeria will not suffer. Or we intend to do it so that ASU will not be going on strike. Those are issues. Okay. Now, let, let, let me go a bit 
uh, personal. Uh, narrow, narrow it down to political parties now, to which you belong, yeah. where you had that all these social cultural groups uh, endorsed the uh, candidate of uh, the main opposition party, uh, which is Atiku, as a member of APC. Uh, what, what went through your mind? Uh, what went through my mind was that in other section 36, yeah. like they, they have freedom to associate, okay. to express themselves. Okay. So that's one. Two, you realize it is not only the people who endorse Atiku. Others also endorse Buhari. Okay. So in, 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 so you right. didn't send any jitters down your spine? No, 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 jitters. Because the reason why I felt there's no jitter was that each time Buhari moves in a political gathering, we see crowds. If it's a, a matter of a, re um, a rejection, you won't see the way he's mobilizing at that place. So in that one, well, then secondly, maybe because of my level of maturity, most of these people who endorse or who is going to do it, ask them how many of them will go out to vote? How many people can they mobilize? Who are their followers? Do you understand? The fact that they have come, they are simply most of the time, I may be wrong, but I perceive that it is the economic interest that is uppermost. Ah, let's talk to these people before the election is over. We are for you. Tell your guy to come and see us. But when you are talking about students, for example, there was elect when the election was coming, the, 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 the state government, uh, uh, the gubernatorial election was coming. We went to one of the tertiary institutions. We talked to the student leader. We talked to someone. And you can see the majority. Will, they said, look, this is what the other party have told us. Can you people meet to this level? This is what they told us in the community. No. These are the people that can mobilize because they are you. Most of these old people, some of them are inspired. Yes, I may be wrong, but that was my perception. That was my personal opinion. And they really will link, they, they hardly link up with the locality, the, the grassroots. So there are some people when they come out, they are, they will begin, who are those people? The Labour Congress. These are workers. Because more than 20% of the Algeria past, uh, population belong to this group. So if those people say they are endorsing, then you know you should be panicking. Okay. Okay, and if an ethnic group are endorsing, there's nothing to worry about because it is not possible in every society for just one entity group to go one direction. Okay. Look, uh, about uh, your own party, when the endorsement uh, were coming, how did you feel? For you, when it was coming for uh, PDP, when it was coming against PDP also, how did you feel? Well, like I said earlier, um, when you are not a party in government, you should be, you should, everything should matter to you. You understand? For us, we, when they are endorsing us, we're happy that we're acceptable. When they are not endorsing us, we look at ourselves and look at reasons why they are not endorsing us. And like Kirade said, sir, there has not been any acceptable, it's so sad that there has not been any acceptable standard of campaign in the country and it's sad. On, on all fronts, not even on APCPDB, on all fronts. I, I think those days, even in school, when, if you want to contest for class campaign, mm -hmm. you have reasons to tell your ah, classmates you go what you intend to do. But now, when we are in school, you know, those days, your manifesto night is the best night, not yeah. even the election. Uh -huh. Because you want those who want to go for office to come and tell you, and you want to hear the kind of diction they are going to be dishing out. Yeah. I mean, you run it from evening till the following morning on campus. You go into a hall and everybody, you clap on. But now, it is um, it is uh, it is the last one that the land and 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 it is so good that we don't have language a standard so offensive uh, that we, mm -hmm. very very offensive mm -hmm. we don't have a standard style gauge of what and what should be we should be this now we should be talking about economy we're talking about health we're talking about agriculture sector by sector tell me what tell me what you can do let me tell you what I can do better so that people cannot look at what is obtainable so it will be nice making so it will be nice making for 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 now it's uh, there's something else. Let's see if we'll be able to take some calls before we go on this program. 0 0 6 Again, 0 0 6 When we call, let's know your name and please keep away from your sex so that we'll be able to uh, pick whatever you want to contribute on the program. To what extent will this endorsement opinion polls and the likes affect? this year's uh, presidential election and the national assembly election.
to the extent that every political party has prepared themselves. The endorsement has limited influence. But what really matter would be number one, your antecedent. What have you achieved in the period we have been there? Number two, what to do? What is what what what, what do you, what do they know about you? Your personality, the candidate that is contesting. Then number three, what are you selling? What is your 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 your, your ability to use? Because politics is a game of the mind. Your ability to influence the people goes along beyond the endorsers. The endorsers are either limited in geography or in a, in, a, in the group. But you going about in the nation, in one way or the other, making sure you know what you are selling, what you intend to do, and you are able to convince the electorate, will have more impact than what the endorsers are doing. Okay, um, Mr. Uh, well, um, for me, any endorsement from the north, for them is a win-win situation. But when you look at this Middle Belt, the South South, the Southwest, and the Niger Delta people, if they are endorsing, they are endorsing for one reason, or the other. One, they might feel for, for us in Southwest, those who were, those who endorsed Article Felt restructuring will be better for us. Those who endorsed Barry Felt 2023, we are, go we are going to gain more. And since our son is the vice president, that's one. When you look at people in, in Southeast, they felt okay, somebody has given put, put their son on the ticket that it gets them nearer to the presidency. That might be their reason for endorsement. So for everybody that is doing one endorsement or the other, they might have been one reason at the back of their mind before they sat down and said look looking holistically looking critically at these two parties and the candidate this is one that we felt for our zone of our organization of our region this is what's going to be good for us so you you discover that there's, there's something at the back of that endorsement either but well, most of it for all these actually are doing it most of it are not personal after the is not personal even on the two sides they felt the, the, the southwest region, the urban nation, should be more paramount in whatever they are thinking. You understand? So I've used that as an example. But like I said, endorsements can be seen from an issue of acceptance of what you are doing, or an issue of, yes, you have told us what you are going to do, and we, and we, and we are in line with your thinking. It's, it's on, on, on either side. So for me, the endorsement is still within the purview of democracy and, and, and I don't think they have violated any electoral act no, by, by, by doing so. To, to our viewers, we, we are a bit sorry, a bit apologetic. We are trying to put on the phone, but what is giving us, we may not be able to get across to us on the program today. Uh, next week, we hope we'll be much better. The phone is asking us to research soon, and we want to do the same thing. So I mean, the network problem, network, whatever, sort of. This endorsement, does it in any way eat up the, the polity? Does it in any way have any negative impact? Of course, it, 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 uh, it does. Look at when we had to say the endorsing candidates. And those people who has always been at logger here with them, you know, they, they will feel comfortable. And when we look at Safen Ferry saying they endorse a particular one, and even if it's no more united, there's a lot of heat, a change of words, and that kind of thing. And when you look at the generals coming for the first time, the army has only been behind the scene. Now they are coming out. Now they are coming out. And uh, it doesn't it, go for one of the reasons why uh, the Democrats, when I use the word, because the Democrats are very minimal in Nigerian politics. Their aim was that at the end of this particular election, the end of the military impact in Nigerian democracy should have been, should have come to a plan. But for them now coming out in group, in send Jita into some Democrat and fell, ah, these people, so they are seeing very much around. So one way or the other, uh, we cannot pretend not to say it doesn't well, uh, have influence or touch some people's uh, now. And fair look, I think we want to look at somebody who can also come and endorse us. Okay, but aren't they? You believe in sitting up the quality? Uh, for me, it, it's good. The, the endorsement is good for the political parties, <laughs> depending on how they, they tap into their advantage. Because um, for all of them, give reasons for the endorsement. Okay. And hello, what to do? Hello. Hello. Oh, good morning. Finally, the phone is working. Good morning. 
line please call the studio line so that we'll be able to uh, speak with you and take your course okay so as, as i was saying the, the endorsement is is, is just um, should be an added advantage to the to, to to the political party or to the candidate at all hello hello, hello. good morning hello. good morning hello hello you are on live hello. Hello. My are on live. We are listening. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Now, brother, man, that come from now. Okay. We to give you two. Because I like what you say so. This is a thing for the purpose I do it. So, look, I said this for the same thing too. We, so much, we will show the truth. Anybody that comes from this source, I need to have to work. That is a good discussion. They are not really new to that. They are just fighting for their own focus in church. So, for anybody that comes from this region, that is not why, during the last period, what do you probably achieve? Eh? Okay. Okay. We, we, we believe Yorubas are Yorubas. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, they have to come. The position permits them. So we should not be insultive to anybody. Insultive to anybody. Because, yeah, God, God, God bless you. We're back in there. Yeah, like, like, like I said earlier, those who endorsed Vary in, you, in Yoruba land felt, they are from the people who endorsed Vary felt their son is on that ticket. And the only thing they will do in solidarity is to support their son. And they expect that in 2023 they can get something more. Oh, yeah. That is you know, the promise of the day. You understand that those who are supporting that people felt restructuring. Will, will give them a more opportunity of doing things on their own in fact that that ought to be the last uh, uh, strike on this uh, program for today the, uh, this endorsement of the thing the other time i was asking whether there was inducement or not into all of this stuff well, well, you have at a point in time it was being promised that 2023 you have this, uh, you will have this, 2023 you have this, uh, because of that we are falling over ourselves. Hello? Hello? Good morning? Good morning. Am I on? Yes, you are on, you are on. My name is Kobe, my name is Kobe, I'm Okay. Okay. Kobe, yeah. Okay. Uh, those that are adulting, it is allowed, it is freedom of our uh, foundation, because they don't anybody in life. But we the voters, we made up our plan. We know the government that has favored us a lot. We know the government that has damaged our, our country for the past 15 years. So we should be able to know what it is. But before anybody can address, you should be able to consider the accident. What that person has done, what that fully well. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Okay. So, all this rush, because of 2023. Can that be part of the endorsement uh, palaver? Uh, you know, I saw that politics is a game of influence. The ability to influence the other person. Okay. Like the last speaker has said that uh, they have made up their mind. Okay. So even the man he also said this. Uh, uh, <laughs> now, if you are coming to influence them now, they have promised them by 2023 power will come back to Southwest. 
Limbo to the problem, then it comes back. So there could be a reason why this uh, are yeah, so, so you are going to give to us yes when does it so you are going to give to us so when then then three come we now let uh, see how we are going to cross the bridge. It could be part of the factor. But being a political animal, I think it's allowed for people to express themselves and to do, do. I, I think what we need to appeal to our people uh -huh. uh -huh. okay, is now. to allow people to express themselves. Yes, really. Either they go for this party or they go to the party, there should be no violence. Uh -huh. People should not be caught or beaten or harassed, intimidated because of their political view. We, should have, we are brothers. We are fighting for the same thing. Why do we want something from the West? It's because we want development, one good road, one good school, we want so many things. So the party I belong to should not be a reason why you should fight me or why I should fight you. I'm sitting with my brother here. If it's uh, that because that I know begin to, we won't, be, we won't be able to listen to her. So we are appealing to all Nigerians, irrespective of tribe, religion. We should not allow them to cause him because you know to some degree even some major people are endorsing mm -hmm. yeah, and could be that one can be very volatile mm -hmm. uh, so please summons on the pulpit yes uh, let's uh, uh, beginning even of the, the social media social so media. this thing we should place plate down let's ensure that this is one of the best election so far and we believe the INEC are doing their best too okay once we do it we also appeal to the law enforcement agent let's treat our people with civility Let's see them that they are the one who are the taxpayer, and without them, you, you cannot police the job or do anything. So, on the day of election, let's treat them like human beings, not like animals. Okay. okay, the last take from uh, Obama. Indeed. Well, I want only appeal to Nigerians that um, we should believe in the process the ANEC has put in place. And um, if you are having your voters card, there's no point keeping it at home on election day. For those who have not made up their mind, whichever party they decide they want to vote for, I will encourage them. To go out there and put their thumb on the ballot. It is, a, it is their right. It is their right to do it, and, and I, I'm only encouraging them. Sitting down at home on election day is not too good for our democracy, and it's not even too good for them as a person. Because they, they should be part of the process that we put in place a, a, a government that they believe will do good governance for them. And like I said earlier, violence for me too is a no no. People should go out on election day, do, do their voting. And I should do its job. The security agencies should be fair enough to allow people to express themselves freely and make sure they monitor the election to a, to a logical conclusion. Mm -hmm. at the end of the day, go to Hello? 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 Sorry to look on. That is on. We're expecting. Yes, the big I want to say thanks to our viewers. Those who had called, those who tried calling, we are sorry, we are apologetic. The phone didn't pick up early because I'm still coming, but we have to put a stop to it at this level. To Funcho, for having the thanks for being with us on this program. It's a pleasure. Yes, uh, you're going to buy the time. It's been nice you. having you around. Thank you very much. To all the production crew, thanks for being there. We'll be meeting again for the nation today next week Wednesday. Until then, my name is Akinola. Oh, Saying bye-bye for now.